half an hour and I say thank you so much. Sorry. Thanks for always being there for us and for all that you've done for me and made me welcome your family. I thought it's not been possible to everyone have everyone here we love today with us today, but we know they're with us in spirit. Um, they're in our thoughts, but most important, they're in our hearts. So with them in mind, I would like you to raise a glass uh, to absent family and friends. Finally, I'd like to come on to the star of the show, Lauren. Lauren, you're beautiful, stunning, and I love my life. You're beautiful on the inside as well as outside, and I'm happy that you're my wife. I'm so happy that you agreed to share the rest of my life with me. I've been so proud of the way you have juggled organising the wedding and your job, keeping up with me and with everything else that's still been like you've been amazing I just can't thank you enough you're my rock and ever since my mum's passed um, they say you don't marry someone that you can live with you marry the person you can live without you can't live without and I think that sums us up now if I had to single out the one thing I love about you so much it would be the fact that you make me happier than I've ever been You know I love you and I hope that, that by me marrying you in front of everyone here today who we love and we wanted here, you can see how much you mean to me. I'm so proud to be your husband and I want us to grow old and grey together and that's it. You and no one else, that's it. Now I ask to raise your glasses and toast to my wife. The Torville to my Dean, the salt to my pepper, and more appropriately, the beauty to my beast, yeah. Lauren. Thank you, sorry.